for this video review we're going to take a look at a grid iron studios product so this is going to be a replacement roof pack meant for your gi joe classified series stinger or vamp the cost of this replacement roof pack is going to be $34 and it takes about 15 to 20 days before it ships. So this is how the replacement roof pack looks. Just the replacement roof pack. Okay. So it's a snap-on accessory and features. So we have lights, it's still lights on board and a opening turret actually so you could position it this way so just in case the driver or the gunner i mean would need to examine his surroundings so he could um, examine his surroundings with this as protection okay so this easily detaches and if you wish to glue this or the other accessory that attaches to this point, it is also possible. So basically, this is how it looks. And the main reason why I bought this set is going to be this, because I have a roof weapon. A new cross weapon system for my stinger. Okay, and it's really nice and slick so just take this part off and you could attach it to this point of the roof pack okay so this thing rotates and you put the barrel in this part of the platform and actually it is in a separate bag this part so that's going to be a square peg attaches to that point and we have the electronic devices for targeting and imaging okay and another special feature is going to be just like this it has a opening hatch wherein you could pop your gunner so this is going to be the complete system right now okay and i forgot to mention that this part of this rotating turret also moves up and down and this is going to be the details of the total thing that you are purchasing including this and easily pops off easily pops in and interchangeability once you're tired of this you want something more slick so you could pop the original piece that they provided in the original roof pack is going to be gray and this is going to be black so this is how it's going to look so we have a dual weapon system so we have a gun for the roof and we have the main weapons platform so both of them are crows or cobra remotely operated weapons station so we have this as a secondary for this so this is going to have missile attachments and we've got we need to raise that to for a proper firing position or a fi proper firing solution also raise this other section so we already discussed this previous build um, in one of my stinger videos so this is something that I just concocted myself <laughs> from whatever parts that I have on board okay so still a stinger with those missile systems but if he has the gunner has to fire these two then he has the driver has to position the stinger a certain way so the gunner could move the platform the sideways and fire well that's the only downside but we could still replace this if we wish to with another weapons platform 
from Pixies Designs, which I also covered in the previous video. So let's put it on board. Okay, this time we have a replacement missile rack from Pixies Designs, something that is smaller, looks slicker. So I really love this profile this time. So true essence of a Cobra Stinger. So the weapons platform isn't a singular piece like this wherein we have the missile rack system and the main gun in just one cross system. But this time we have two separate cross system with the main imaging or targeting um, electronic devices in this section of the weapons platform. So wherever the gunner would point this. So just in case he needs to use a different um, weapons platform instead of a gun, he needs to use the missile system or the missile rack. So yep, that would move in tandem with the targeting device. Okay. And just in case he needs to use this weapons platform as a manually operated machine gun or that isn't controlled by the um, target uh, the electronic system on board the stinger so he could just man the controls on this section with the hatch open so to demonstrate the features of this new accessory from gridiron studios so we pop the this section open and place the figure <laughs> of course the gunner of this um, cobra stinger is no other than scrap iron okay so that is how this um, thing is going to look okay so this is going to be a wrap up for this particular cobra stinger we still have a cobra stinger in box so we're going to also modify that but we're not going to really go crazy with the changes with gridiron studios tires and etc it's going to be somehow this configuration still just a different twist and we're going to make use of this weapons platform with my co second cobra stinger okay so add-ons final um, Pixis designs so the bumper the missile system really like this one and we don't have any attaching points wherein I would lose um, missile pieces so this is just one whole block with this function so that's what I need or that's what I want Okay, so Pixies Designs add on this, aside from that one. So one, two, three, and four from Pixies Designs. Actually really uh, nicely designed products for the Cobra Stinger and they are priced really good. Okay, so the other items that we have on board that is already discussed in the previous video, something that we already have as accessories in our collection of course so product add-ons from gridiron studios of course it's going to be this gun and this roof which replace this part and we have a upgrade helmet for the driver so of course this is going to be a night attack vehicle so he needs quad nods for night driving and finally to make use of these two devices the most important part which actually a lot of collectors missed is going to be a control mechanism so this too is a grid iron studios product and that is a um, accessory that I took from a Gundam model kit <laughs> because Gridiron Studios the, um, 
does not have this in this configuration so this is a part that comes from my collection okay so that's it final build for cobra stinger number one so the other cobra stinger that i still have on box it's going to sport this weapons platform and we're going to have this this and that and we're going to have another of this and a helmet for the driver that's it so if you like this review like comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review